Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and here in this tutorial series basically we are seeing about the inbound integration tool and previously we had seen uh, the HDL1 which help us to uh, load uh, the data in our Oracle Cloud and then we have another tool or utility which we have that is a spreadsheet data loader so today we are going to talk about uh, this utility that is a spreadsheet data loader that also enable us to load the data in our cloud instance when the uh, volume or amount of data is not uh, uh, that much high like uh, if we want to upload 100 jobs 50 grades 20 departments so then we will go with this particular uh, uh, utility that is a spreadsheet data loader and in order to work with this uh, spreadsheet data loader uh, tool in our cloud instance uh, we we need uh, or require an additional uh, plugin or tool uh, that is adfdi it stands for application development framework desktop integration tool this tool basically embeds with our ms office application or more specifically ms excel i will show you how this particular plugin will look like and how will it embed with our uh, excel sheet so let's take a look on the overview part of uh, sdl so here what is a, a sdl firstly we need to understand the uh, concept of sdl so hcm spreadsheet data loader so sdl spreadsheet data loader loads hcm business objects from a spreadsheet so what will happen as uh, whatever objects we can uh, uh, load with uh, the uh, help of hdl tool we can uh, same we can perform with uh, the sdl as well like uh, if we want to uh, load or in uh, introduce certain jobs grades positions department locations in uh, any organization then we can uh, go with uh, this particular sdl tool and we can load uh, whatever objects uh, or workforce structure component we want to include in our organization we can easily upload with, uh, with the help of this uh, uh, spreadsheet data loader we can generate the objects from spreadsheet templates so what will happen in this uh, um, uh, sdl tool uh, there when we go our uh, cloud instance uh, there exists the spreadsheet template for each and every object so we can easily go there uh, and we can easily download the spreadsheet template basically it provides us uh, uh, the structure what uh, kind of data uh, we have to insert uh, in uh, any particular uh, business object file so uh, what will happen the chances of uh, errors or mistakes have become reduced if we work with the um, this uh, spreadsheet uh, template which uh, is provided by oracle in the uh, cloud instance a spreadsheet template for a business object contains selected attributes in a specified order it means that whatever business objects we want to load in our cloud instance basically we uh, need to prepare a file for each object as we as we used to prepare in hdl like uh, we have to prepare uh, grade dot dat file job dot dat and location position department for each and every business object we need to prepare that file in order to uh, load the data in via hdl so if we talk about sdl we need same process uh, uh, apply here also like we have to prepare a, a template file for each business object like uh, if i talk about grade then it contains uh, certain kinds of attribute in that particular file uh, that is gen bus generic business object file and it if we talk about the grade file then it can have uh, the grade name its effective start date and date like its uh, status 
set code, grade code, all these are basically the attributes for a particular business object that is grade. Same thing happens with other objects like uh, job position, department, organization. So this is basically uh, the attributes and the, uh, certain attributes, some of them, at, uh, some of the attributes are mandatory. And so what will happen, whatever attributes are mandatory uh, in those files, we have to, uh, we need to pass the values for all those attributes which are mandatory and then we can upload that uh, file in our uh, instance. So let me show you first how this uh, ADFDI tool will look like and how it embeds with our uh, so here i have uh, opened one blank excel sheet and uh, as it embeds with uh, uh, as it works with the spreadsheet data loader so it um, and this particular tool embeds with excel so when i click on this file option here so here we have an option called add-ins and uh, when I click on this drop down option, which is uh, there, which is uh, here under add ins, so it, it will show me uh, the tool that uh, this tool has been installed in my uh, system that is ADFDI, Application Development Framework Desktop Integration. So basically, what will happen when we go to the instance and download any of the spreadsheet template? So I'm going to show you that one also. So let me go to the instance first. This is basically my instance homepage. In order to download the spreadsheet template, what we have to do, we have to uh, download the spreadsheet template. So we just have to go to FSM work area. So we just have to go to this profile icon or uh, setting and actions button and click on setup and maintenance. And here under global search panel, we just have to search any of the business objects like uh, I'm going to use over here, manage grades. So when I search for this particular object, here it is, click on it. So here is my uh, managed grades. Uh, uh, window available so what will happen either we can create a grade manually while clicking on this create option but it will take a lot of time as we have to pass uh, uh, on all the uh, steps like how many steps we have to uh, go through like one two three four um, and we have to fill all these things so instead of doing this we can easily come here under this manage grades option and instead of uh, creating each grade manually we just have to click on this manage in a spreadsheet so what will happen one template file will get downloaded in our system and what will happen we can easily insert the data in that particular spreadsheet that is for grade we can pass the uh, information or pass the values for all the mandatory attributes we have in this particular grade files and we can um, prepare our file and we can easily uh, upload that uh, particular file in our cloud instance. So what will happen when I click on this manage in a spreadsheet option one uh, template file will get downloaded in my system and when I open it, it will ask me So when I click on open and here it has opened. Now what uh, I have to do, I have just, uh, I have to click on this enable editing option. Then it will ask me for the instance credential, which uh, for the uh, same credentials we have to uh, provide over here. Like here we have logged in. So whatever credentials we have used for this particular instance, we need to pass the same credentials over here so 
it is asking me you want to connect your spreadsheet with your cloud instance so yes i want to connect it when so as soon as i click on yes it will ask me for the credentials to pass the same credentials basically it is invoking the action login action So here the, uh, the invoke action has been completed and then uh, it, one uh, template file has been opened before us and here what we have to do we just have to uh, see what kind of uh, um, attributes we have and how many of them are mandatory and what kind of information we can pass so basically we can pass uh, on the information for all the uh, mandatory attributes and we can prepare our file and we can upload the same file in our uh, cloud instance so so basically this is all about our today's session that is spreadsheet data loader and uh, in our coming session, we are going to see how can we load each and every business object the same we had loaded with HDL. So same we are going to load with SDL also. We are going to see in our upcoming session. This is basically all about our today's session. If you have any question regarding this one, that is a SDL, you can uh, always reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com. Okay, so thank you everyone. We'll continue in our upcoming session.